Join me this week as we put some wallpaper onto the walls of our building project. I'm using a new paste, so stay tuned and see what I used and what I think of it. Alright, so today we are going to, like I said in the intro, we're going to put the inside walls, cover the inside walls. I actually cut the paper for this room, big room ahead of time because I didn't have enough of any one sheet of paper. I am using uh, some artist paper. I will put the information about what the paper is in the blog post. And it was just too hard to figure out how to show you how to make a pattern for the funky shaped wall and all that in this big room. When we get to this small room, which I'll do here in a few minutes, when I get this done, we'll do this room. I'll show you how to make a pattern again. I've showed you on a couple of other blogs or videos before. So I'm having to use two different colors because quite frankly, I didn't want to have to buy another sheet of paper or two sheets of paper because I had sheets left over from other projects. So these are cut to size, and I think it'll be okay having two colors. So, the next question is, how do we attach the paper to the walls? And if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I usually use Yes Paste. And I'm a big fan of Yes Paste. But for some reason, I can't get it locally, and I really didn't feel like ordering it online and having to wait for it to come. And partially because it's kind of heavy and the shipping was going to be ridiculous for, for a product that's already expensive. And I had, so I started looking at different alternatives and I noticed several people on some of my online groups were saying they were having good luck with wallpaper border paste that's made for putting wallpaper borders, you know, over wallpaper in your real house. So I had to go to the grocery store this morning, so I stopped by the paint store, which in Oregon City, which is the closest town to me, is a Sherwin-Williams, and I picked up this tub of wallpaper border paste. That's a quart container. I'll open it up here in a minute. You can see it looks like a good, good consistency for what we're doing. We'll see in a moment. This was $9.40 for a quart. That's not bad for if it works as well as the Yes Paste and keeps as long. So that's not too bad. So I've, it says to open it. It's with a screwdriver, blade screwdriver. I've been using this like scraper thing. And when you close it, you do need to pound the lid down around the edges of the lid with a hammer. But you can see this is it's a nice texture. I've been kind of playing with it. It says to stir it before you use it. It's got a nice, nice texture to it. We'll see how it works. So like I said, I pre-cut my paper so that I could get paper to fit each wall because, yeah, it's kind of, I'm running out of paper, but I really didn't want to go to the store and buy more paper. So I clamped them up here so I could keep track of what I had. Typically, when I'm doing wallpaper, I work on the walls that you are looking at as you look in the open side. I look at the do the ones you look at flat against first. So we're going to start with the. Actually, we'll start with this one because that'll be easier for you to see. So I cut my paper a little bit oversized. Let me make sure I've got the right this side out. So, oops, went out of the way. So on these, I want to crease them. Let's do it off camera. I'm just bending up an edge. I want it to fit in the corner and kind of wrap around the corner. Too much because it needs to wrap around that corner too. Now it will wrap. All right, so I'm going to use a paintbrush, I think. I've got wet wipes if I spill it on the, the floor. 
but I don't think it'll make much of a difference on this floor. Now I'm going to, I'll cut away from the windows and doors after I put it on. I'm actually going to paint the back side of this also. Just because I think it will stick better if I do that. I've still got sand on my table from doing the uh, driveway. <laughs> Alright. Goes like that. Line it up. It feels a lot like it does when I use the yes paste. So that's good, I think. Bend it around the corner. I want it to go around that corner just a little bit. I'm trying not to get my head in the camera. This would be a lot easier if I could lay the building on its flat on its front, but because we, in order to put the two halves together, remember we put it, we attached the, the building to its base, and I knew it was going to be an issue when we got to this step. All right, now I'm going to get the camera. Hopefully, you're going to be able to see what I'm doing here. It will be much easier on the um, the small side, and the paper will be a lot easier to trim since we aren't putting wiring in now. One thing when you've tape wired a building, you've got to be really careful about trimming your wallpaper because I've known people that have cut their tape wire line trimming their wallpaper. <laughs> We don't have to worry about that on this one because we didn't wire. Let's get that set for a minute while I spread this on the back. I want to go around the corners too. the back of the paper. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, every bit of what I'm doing. It's just, if I had a separate camera person that could follow around what my hands are doing, it would help. All right. Now, that's spread. So now, yeah, this is, and this wall is going to be in tan, kind of a beige color where the front is, the other walls are white, but that's okay. If it doesn't go all the way at the corner, that's okay. We can add a trim wood, and we'll probably add trim around the floor, too. I'm not worried about the door opening. That's fine. Let's set for a minute. Well, so far, this is working just as well as it does with the yes paste. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to finish this room and then I'll get cleaned up and later I'll come back and I'll show you the small room and hopefully you can see more of what I'm doing on that room. All right, so this is now dried overnight. So before I go into the small room, I'm going to show you what we do here to take care of this. Now I've got a, hopefully a sharp knife. This is hard because I remember I put the paste on it. I'm just going to very carefully, and you might have to make a couple of cuts. So be careful, take your time. And I'll probably go in and cut. I'll cut these and then I'll have to cut between the windows too. This is easier on a wall treatment where your outside walls are. Um, a smoother finish like this is cutting a lot easier here than it did here because this is rough. 
And I'll have to move back and forth inside and outside to get this all off. I'm cutting into glue. Now remember, the edges are going to be covered by our door. All right, now hopefully I'm not going to repeat anything because I had to go run and answer the phone. So we are just cutting down along the side and I'm leaving some paper. That's okay. I'll leave a little bit now and then I'll come back and trim up. On this, I have to be really careful. I don't want to break that wood right there. And I am going to peel the paper off from the inside of that area. Now, and when I'm not worried about trying to not get in the camera's way, I'm going to go in and get this closer. I may have to use an emery board. This I'm going to have to do off camera because I'm going to have to get my head inside the building to do. But let's see if we can ignore the mess in the background and hopefully I didn't just make you really, really sick there from moving the camera. On the roof line. I'm just cutting down along the roof line. And then again on this door, and I'll do the same thing on the window on the side of the building. I'm just cutting and trying to work around the camera without knocking the camera over. So hopefully, you get the idea here. I'm going to finish trimming the excess paper on this side of the building, then I'm going to turn the building around and we'll wallpaper the small side of the building. All right, so now it's time to wallpaper this section. So I've actually got, these sheets are actual real dollhouse wallpaper, and I don't very often use this stuff, but I have these here and I've got another sheet over there, so I figured we might as well. So the first thing I need to do so I need to cut a piece of wallpaper that only goes this tall. So I need to measure that. And that is right at 10, about 10 and a half inches. So let me move this back. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off camera because I really don't have room to do that. But that's, it's like cutting any other paper. When I get that done, I'll be back and we'll start putting the wallpaper in. All right, so I actually went ahead and cut my pieces. Now, I was going to do a pattern for this, but I don't really need to. So I've done, shown you how to draw a pattern before. I will put a um, link to that in the blog post. And if you have more questions, we'll do other buildings in the future. So what I cut, now I just left this the full width. This one, the side I needed to cut off where the ceiling's going to come because we have wall above it. This one, this side, I just cut it you know, about a half inch wider than my build than my front is, so that when I put it in, because I want to have it wrap the corners. By wrapping the corners and then putting these sides over those wrapped edges, we won't have bare wood showing at any point. So now I'm going to open up my stuff. Now this has been closed overnight, so we'll see how it is. And I forgot to go get my paintbrush. Hold on. I'll be right back. I knew I was going to forget something. All right. Get this opened. Looks the same as it did yesterday. The real test will be to see how this looks next time I need it, when I have had it closed up for a while. So now I'm just going to spread this. I'm going to spread it on the wall first. I'm going to try to avoid... Can you, see, you can't really see that. Let's see if I can move this. This area of the window I'm going to try to avoid. because we don't want, we need to peel the paper away from the window opening after this dries. Do not be surprised if we have a cat jump up here because the cat for some reason has decided to get into everything in this room while I'm working today. So. 
I don't know if he will be joining us or not. He might. All right. Now this can get tacky. I'm going to start to air out a little bit and get a little tacky while I spread this on the back of my piece of wallpaper. Now Dollhouse wallpaper is somewhat thinner, at least this piece is somewhat thinner than the paper I used on the other room of this. Um, so we'll see how this works. I only had a couple of little bubbles or wrinkles in that paper yesterday and I think that was because I tried to rush it. Overall, I'm happy with this paste so far. We'll see how it looks in the long run. All right. Unfortunately, I got some on the front of my paper, so I'm going to have to get that wiped off. This paper is much more delicate than the paper I used yesterday, meaning it will tear much easier. There was something on my wood. And if this doesn't work well, if this paper wrinkles, that's okay. We'll just do a wall treatment over it. There are bubbles there. I'm not sure if the camera's picking them up, but there are bubbles. kind of something on the wood there, right there. I'm not sure if you're seeing that. Yeah, I think my paper's going to buckle a little bit. The loud banging over there is the cat knocking things down, because he's decided to explore. All right, now I'm going to paint this wall. Yeah, you can see that. I hope you can see that. I don't think there's any way for me to move this so you'll be able to see the remaining wall, so I will do that after I turn the camera off. If I get paste over onto the front side of my paper, I'll need to be very careful to wipe that off. I think on this piece, I'm going to try putting it on without putting it on the back of the paper just putting it on the wall. That way it will be not quite so wet. It might work better. And on the little tall on yeah, that's working better. I will need to cut this back. I'll take a straight edge and uh, go out from the from the roof line after this dries. All right, so I'm going, I'll need to trim this. Probably trim that now while it's still wet. Next week we'll be putting the floor in this room and I figured out this afternoon something really cool to do for that floor. All right, I'm going to do this wall off camera. When this is dry, I'll be cutting around the windows and doors. And when everything is dry and I've got it trimmed, I will come back and show you how it looks all finished. All right, so this is now sat overnight. And it's funny because this wall here that looked like it was going to wrinkle really badly is completely smooth. This wall, which I'm get it turned or not so you can see. I have a great big wrinkle. That didn't appear until the paper dried. Uh, <laughs> this wall has a couple little wrinkles. I think wetting, putting the, the glue on both surfaces was the better choice on this paper. So overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, I'll just put some strategically placed uh, shelves or pictures or something on those walls where there's wrinkles. I think this paste is going to work just fine if it holds up. So that's how we wallpaper. Um, 
I will try and get in and get a video on how to make a pattern done in the next week or so and I will post that as an extra video. If not, we'll do other buildings in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, we are going to, oops, here I'm tapping on the floor and you can't see it. Next week, we are going to do this floor. And I'm going to do something really different. Um, until then, if you have any questions, be sure and ask and have fun with your minis and I'll talk to you later. Bye.